Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I actually continued the um, urban sketching series and uh, I figured in this video I'll share something that I find is a common problem among a lot of people. Now for most people, just starting an ink drawing with no prior pencil sketch or under drawing can be really intimidating because you can't erase your mistakes um, or correct them that easily and uh, you can't erase your marks, you can't go back and undo what you did. You know, so as a result of that, it can be really intimidating and actually most people just shy away from drawing with ink for that reason. Now, in this video, I'm gonna share with you three tips that will really help you when it comes to drawing with ink, especially if you're not using prior uh, sketches or drawings in pencil, that will allow you to draw more confidently and not necessarily be so afraid of making mistakes and stuff like that. And you can still come out with pleasing drawings. Now, while I do believe it's best practice to actually have even a light you know, sketch or something in pencil just to guide your ink work. I do think that's the best route, especially if you're just starting out or, you know, you're learning the basics of drawing. I think that's the best way to go because it really gives you room to play and, and be more confident and more comfortable with your ink work without having to be paranoid about making mistakes. Now, on the other hand, you know, it's still a lot of fun. It's really liberating and spontaneous to just jump right into the drawing with your ink. And, you know, it can, it, it's just a different feeling you get than, you know, when you have a pencil sketch there. So it's good to actually play with both methods. And that's where this tutorial comes in. I want to share some really simple, three simple tips that I think, well, it helps my practice and hopefully will help your practice when you're just drawing straight with pen. And of course, a big thank you again for everyone who has supported my book, Pen and Ink Drawing, A Simple Guide. Um, you know, for those who haven't gotten a copy yet, please grab one. Um, uh, for those who have also, as I said, left reviews on our comments on Amazon or Goodreads, you know, whatever the websites are where I've seen it, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to just, you know, jot some feedback um, and just say something about what you've gotten from the book. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, I just, it just feels really overwhelming that people still find it useful. And, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like fulfilling a lot of the things that I wanted. So thanks so much, guys. And uh, I really appreciate the support. This is a photo I took from my uh, trip to Sao Luis, Brazil. And I'm going to be doing a demo drawing from this to kind of like, you know, illustrate the tips that I'll be sharing with you in this tutorial. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you three main tips, as I said. And uh, this should actually be one of the tips because it's really important but it's something that should be a part of your natural drawing process anyway and that is it's very important to spend time observing the subject it pretty much means one you look at it and you start to identify what are the landmarks in other words what are the main points or things or elements in this image or that scene that you're looking at that helps you to construct it easily so for example you'd look for places like overlaps or you know intersections places like here here and here and and you look for uh, uh like large shapes so for example in this you can see this shape like these are the major shapes that i'm seeing those are the main shapes that i see that pretty much dominates this image and you're looking for important details of course you have to remember also you know when you're drawing a scene like this you cannot capture everything so you have to make up your mind okay what statement am i going to make about this scene what is it that i'm going to overstate or understate or emphasize or de-emphasize what am i going to omit what am i going to distort what am i going to put the attention on you see so those are the things that you're doing when you're observing those are the particular things that you're you're actually thinking about and you have to learn how to filter when you see things to learn how to focus on what's important in the image for your construction for your drawing and kind of eliminate or de-emphasize what isn't now the first thing to do is to frame your drawing now this is you know done literally or visually you know in your mind it's up to you so in my mind i kind of like have this idea and as i said i was thinking about the main shapes so i see this shape and i see this shape and i see this one so in my mind this is what i'm going how i'm going to be framing my drawing i'm not concerned with everything going on that's my main focus so it's good to have an idea of you know am i going to have a drawing more like this 
This is more like a horizontal frame. This is more a uh, vertical frame. You can have a square frame. But the idea is that you kind of contain or f or emphasize where you want to direct your focus. Now, the second thing is, which is very, very important, is that now that I have kind of established what I'm going to be focusing on is that I start thinking about measurement. I start thinking about proportion, just like when you're doing a portrait or you're doing a figure drawing. Proportion is also important, even in urban sketching. And what I do is I use a dot system. Say I'm looking at this, right? And we're going to do just a simple little um, thumbnail sketch like this, right? The first thing I start doing generally, and uh, 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 and this is something I do in all my drawings, but with this is very useful is see, for example, that this edge, see, is vertical, right? So what I would do is you're drawing with pen. So what I generally do is, is just put a dot, 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 and see these three dots helps me to keep my line accurate. So in other words, even if I start here or would I start here, I know that my line should end up somewhere here. So I may do something like that and that helps to keep my line accurate see now as far as how everything else is constructed i may say okay you know what i noticed that this overlaps this edge somewhere halfway so what i do is i just put a dot there simple old dot and that will kind of help me to um, keep keep in mind where this overlaps i notice that it slants upwards and i'll say okay it slants upwards but how far up along here does it align so i may say it comes to here right so i may just put a dot here and that helps me to align where i think the building will go so now when i start putting in the dots help me same thing with this structure i can just do it like this because i say it comes somewhere like uh, uh i'd say a halfway here between this distance or like a third and i'll just put a dot here and that helps me to do simply do that same thing this is halfway i may say okay this the bottom is here i put a dot I put another dot i put a dot halfway just those three little dots and now i have an idea so even though you know when you see me doing a drawing i may seem like i'm just arbitrary or just magically just getting the, the measurements accurate this is what i'm actually doing just like with making these arches i may say okay you notice i notice that they're like one two three one two three four five six divisions right so these three openings and then the space in between them so i may just do something like this and what i've done now is i have actually marked where this will be where this will be and then this will be and you can even even just to make sure that they're also increasing at the same on the same line i may just put some dots there just like that and now I have an idea of where these will be same thing with the bottom so just by putting a simple dot even with you see this column here the edge I can say okay you know what from the roof to here to the to the ground actually seems like it's divided into thirds one two three and I may just divide this into thir into thirds put a dot put a dot and I may put another dot to help me of the to remi remind me of the um, the angle see and that brings me to the third tip and the third tip is to start with outlines contours general shapes and then fill in the details after and that's what I've done here so in other words I think about the big shapes think simple to complex big shapes first and details after because you know you don't want to start with the details and then before you know it you start like this and then you realize wow you know what i should have made it smaller even when it, when it comes to uh drawing the human figure if you're drawing the rib cage you don't start drawing ribs first no you draw the rib cage as a whole see and then you make the divisions then you do the ribs after see so that way 
they fit in within the whole. And it's the same thing when doing a structure like this. So those are the three things that I use a lot when I'm drawing just straight with ink. And you'll see when I do the demo drawing, that's exactly what I'll be doing. I'll go through the same process when I actually do this drawing. And there it is. And I did the same three things that I had mentioned before. I basically framed a part of the scene that I wanted to emphasize or focus on. And then secondly, I started doing my measurements and I plot all those measurements with little dots. And then I just follow through. And then after that, I start from simple to complex. I start with the outlines first, the contours, the edges, and then I go in and divide it up and go into detail. It's just like you have something like this. You split it up, split it up split it up and then you can go in and start carving out little details and that's basically what i do i start from general very simple and then i go in and gradually narrow it down to the details so hopefully you found something entertaining uh informative inspiring or just useful in some way that you can apply to your own work and you can find ink drawing a lot less intimidating and a lot more fun and liberating um, so remember, give the video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I'll see you in the next video.